In this lesson we're going to continue the work of linear algebra and I want to tell you what matrices and vectors are because that's the key idea of linear algebra is to write everything in matrices and vectors. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at what is a matrix. A matrix is a way of arranging numbers in a rectangle. Say, for example, something like that's a matrix. Okay? Right, and what we we'll say is, we we'll say the matrix has got M rows, so in this case 2, and N columns, in this case 2. So that's a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, that's a 2 by 2 matrix. Vectors. You should have seen vectors at school. This is a vector. That's called a row vector, because it's a row, and this is called a column vector, because that one's a row, and that one's a column. So, a vector is one that only has one row, and n columns, that's one type of vector it can have. And the other one, yeah, we've got M rows and one column. Okay, so basically it can have any num this one can have any number of columns, but it can only have one row, then it's a row vector. And this one here can have any number of columns I mean any number of rows but only one column so a co row vector has got one row a column vector has one column that can have as many rows as, it, as many columns as it wants and that can have as many rows as it wants okay Not all matrices have to be square. I could write a matrix, for example. Like that. Okay. And it's got two rows. Three columns. Mm. No, it hasn't. It's got three, two. Three, these are rows going along here. And also the columns going down. So it's got three rows and two columns. And we'll say that a row, we'll call that the i-th row. And the column, we'll call that the g-th column. So somewhere in some matrix, at some random point here, we've got I, J, entry, which is I, J, entry. So I is just whatever row it is, and J is whatever column it is. Okay, so that's not too complicated. Right now, next thing, what's a coefficient matrix? A coefficient matrix is basically we we'll write the coefficients of each let of each of these letters, each of these variables, 
and call fish and sudden numbers in front of them. So I'll write minus two, seven, minus three, six, fifths, two, eight, four, minus three, one half. Okay, and then for the variables, we can write. Now remember by looking at this definition I wrote over here, that's a column vector. And then here we'll put the variables, which we want to try and find. So we've got x, y, and z, which are the variables, in other words, the unknowns. And then this next part here, I'll put the right hand side, numbers on the right hand side. So I've got minus a half, I've got 10, and I've got minus 3. Now that's the coefficient matrix here. And this is the vector of the unknowns, which is called a column vector. And this here is another column vector with the solutions. I can call this matrix A. We always use capital letters for matrices. I can call this one here, this vector, x. And then I can call this vector, b. So, that's a very important definition that we'll see. A lot more than the course. So, in matrix form, systems of linear equations of the form AX equals B. Where's a capital letter? And the X and the B are lowercase letters. Right. So that's the basics about matrices there. Okay. Next time I'll talk a little bit about some arithmetic we can do with matrices.